What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to add themes and color schemes to your TK Enter application. So let us get right into it. All right, so here's a quick preview. This is what we're going to end up with in this video today, a simple application with a text box. I can type something in it like hello world a button that shows a message box with the text that I just typed and the very important drop down here that allows me to change the theme. So I can change to a dark mode, I can change to a blue theme, I can change to this one. And I also have this one. And of course, you can extend this, you can have more themes, you can customize them the way you want. And the focus of this video today is to implement this mechanic of changing the theme. Now this can then be used for calculators, web browsers, whatever application you have, whatever graphical user interface application you have, the principle is going to be the same. And this is what we're going to cover in this video today, having multiple themes and being able to change them dynamically. All right, so we're going to get right into it. And we're going to start with the themes and the themes are going to be just JSON files, we're going to have five different JSON files representing five different themes, five different configurations of appearances. And I'm going to code one from scratch, and I'm going to copy paste the other four, uh, just to save some time here. And the theme name is going to be also the file name. So we're going to name the first one. And of course, you can change this, I'm going to name the first one classic elegance dot JSON. So that is the theme or the theme name dot JSON. And in this JSON file, we're going to have a bunch of key value pairs that are going to be the settings, the appearance of our application. And of course, if you have a more complex application with many UI elements with menus and sliders and drop downs and buttons and check boxes and everything, you might want to have more of these key value pairs because you might want to use more uh, different colors or a larger number of colors for the different components. So of course, you can change this dynamically here. Um, but our key value pairs for this particular video here are going to be foreground the foreground of the default theme. So basically, the text color is going to be black. Then we're going to have the background, and the background is going to be white. This is just a classic theme. Um, then we're going to have the font family. And in my case, this is going to be Helvetica. Um, yeah, and then we are going to have the font size, which is going to be 12. And then we're going to have the message box foreground, which is going to be black as well. And we're going to have the message box background, which is also or not also, but it's going to be white. So this is the configuration for the first theme. Now I'm going to paste the other four themes. So here we have now midnight oasis, ocean breeze, soft serenity and sunset glow, you can see here the configurations, you can pause the video if you want to copy them, or you can come up with your own configurations. It's just different colors, different font families and different font sizes, or I'm not even sure about the font size. Yeah, this one has a different font size. So create your own themes according to this pattern or copy the themes I have here. It's really up to you, you can design them the way you want. And of course, you can add more than five as well. So those are going to be the themes as JSON files. Now we're going to build an application that uses these as configurations. So I'm going to say here main py. And we're going to import, of course, TK enter as TK, we're going to import from TK enter uh, the message box, even though I'm not actually sure if we're going to need that because we're going to create our own message box, I'm going to import it for now. Uh, and we're going to import JSON, of course because we need to handle the JSON files. So those are going to be the imports, all core Python, nothing that we have to import here, uh, or install here. Um, and we're going to define a couple of functions. Now, the first function that we want to define is a function that loads the theme from the JSON file. And the second function is a function that applies the theme. And for defining these functions, we're already having, we already need to know what the components are going to be. But since we already saw the preview, we know what the components of this application are going to be. So I'm going to start here with the first function load theme, which is going to take as a parameter, just the theme name, it's going to assume that the theme is in the same directory, and it's going to assume that it's a JSON file. So whatever the theme name is, it's just going to add a dot JSON to it and load it. So with open, then an F string here, theme name dot JSON in reading mode as F, the theme is going to be JSON load, and we pass this file pointer here, 
F and this is going to load the theme and it's going to return the theme. Now, of course, you can feel free to do this also as a class, maybe it's a more yeah, professional way to implement this as a class, I'm, I'm just going to add some functions here. Um, then we're going to have the apply theme method or function, which is going to take the theme itself. So it's going to take whatever this function returns here, and it's going to apply it. And the theme is going to be a dictionary, of course, of key value pairs. Remember, this is the theme. So we have keys, and we have values. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, know that we're going to have different components, we have the application itself, we have a text box, we have a button, we have a, a drop down menu. Um, and we have um, the current theme. So the current theme is going to be a dictionary that we're going to update with the current theme. So just so we know which theme is currently active. So what we're going to do is we're going to say app dot config. So these are all objects that we don't have yet, we're going to define them um, outside of the function. So in the end, we're going to have after we have all the functions, we're going to have the code for creating the UI. And then we're going to have an app object, a text box, a button and stuff like that. For now, we're just going to configure their style. And we're going to configure in particular, the background of the application is going to be whatever the theme says that the background should be. So whatever the theme has specified here, that's going to be what we set the app background to the text box config is going to um, have a foreground being set to whatever the theme says the foreground should be. The background is going to be the same background as the application background. So BG is going to be theme background. And then the font of this text, of course, um, has to has to be set to a tuple. And this tuple is going to contain the family and the size. So we're going to say the theme font and the theme font size. And maybe I should stay consistent here with the double quotations if I choose to use them and not alternate between them. There you go. So that is a simple text box configuration. We're going to copy the same thing now for the button. So there is going to be a button, and the button will have the same configuration. Uh, and we're going to have the same thing for the drop down, which we're going to call option menu, for example. Um, so those are the configurations applied to these components, which we're going to define down here. And then we're also going to have a dictionary current theme, which we're going to update. So we're going to update the key value pair information in there, it's going to have a background, a foreground, a font and so on, we're going to update it with whatever the theme is right now. So whatever the theme is that we pass here. Um, yeah, so those are now the two functions for loading and applying the theme, we also need a function for showing the message box. So we're going to say show custom message. And the important thing is, uh, we need a custom message box, because there's no way to easily uh, redesign and and uh, yeah, to, to basically redesign the default message box from TK enter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to define a pop up and the pop up is going to be TK top level. That's just a class, it's going to be, we're going to pass app to it. And we're going to say pop up title is going to be the message box, or just message. Then we're going to say pop up dot config and the background of this is going to be now, uh, whatever the theme is. Um, so so whatever the current theme is now, maybe we should we should define down here what we have, we have an app, we have a text box, we have a button, we have an option menu, which are UI elements. And then we're going to have uh, the current theme, which is going to be a dictionary with all the key value pairs that we define here in the JSON, and they're going to have some values. And this current theme is going to be accessible also in this function here. So whatever the current theme is, from this, we want to get the following uh, value, the value that is behind the message box background key. So the current theme has a certain setting for this. Um, and then we want to say that the message itself is going to be a label, and the label is going to be part of pop up. And it's going to have a certain text. The text is going to be whatever the text box text is. So this text box UI element from this, we're going to get the text. 
Uh, and the foreground of this is going to be um, the current theme, whatever the foreground value is, or the message box foreground value is. And the background is going to be whatever the message box background is. So BG is going to be current theme, and then message box background. So I think I'm blocking this with my camera. Now you should see it. Again, don't be confused by all of this being underlined. It's going to be very clear in a second uh, where all of this is coming from. I'm going to add all the UI elements. I just like to define the functions first. So message pack, we're going to just pack this into the uh, UI by defining a padding of 20 on the horizontal axis, padding of 20 on the vertical axis, just so we position it basically. Uh, in the UI, and then we're going to have a close button, let's call it button close, which is just going to be a TK button. And this TK button will be part of pop up, we'll have the text close, and we'll have the command, um, which is going to be pop up destroy. So it's going to destroy the pop up instance here. And this button close will be added as well with a uh, vertical padding of 20. So that is our custom message function. And last but not least, we're going to also define a function on theme change. So that we actually have something uh, that we can bind to the event of the drop down changing of the drop down value changing, which is going to combine these two function calls, we're going to say, give me the theme that is selected. So this needs to have arguments. Uh, theme is going to be load theme. And then we're going to say theme variable, which is going to be something that we have in a second here as well. I'm going to go through all of the code again, once we have everything done. So it's less confusing to you. Uh, we're going to get the value of the theme variable, which is going to be a string variable containing the theme name. And then we're going to apply exactly this. theme. All right, so this is now the functionality. Let's add the actual UI that uses the functionality. We're going to start here by creating an app. So app is going to be just TK TK It's going to be a simple TK inter app, it will have a simple title and the title is going to be I don't know, theme changing app or something like that. And then we're going to define the current theme as an empty dictionary, which means the first time we set a theme, it's going to be filled up with the theme. And then it's going to change the theme every time we change the theme. So we're going to overwrite the key value pairs or the values of the key value pairs. So it's going to be empty in the beginning. Now we're going to define all the UI elements, the text box is going to be a simple TK entry, which is part of the app, we don't define any define any styling because that's going to be uh, provided by the theme, we have a button, the button is going to be TK button part of the application, the text of this button is going to be um, that's going to be show message and the command for this button will be show custom message, we don't call the function we pass it as a first um, order entity. So as an object, basically, then we define the theme variable, which is going to be a string bar. And it's going to be part of app. And the theme bar in the beginning, we're going to manually set the default value here, classic elegance. So by default, it's going to just pick this one as the first theme as a default theme. Um, then we're going to define this option menu here, which is going to be a TK option menu. So a drop down essentially part of app with theme bar here as a string variable. And we're going to provide here classic elegance. Uh, we're going to provide what did we have? Uh, which one was the dark one midnight oasis, then ocean breeze, then soft serenity, and sunset glow, like this. All right, so those are all the themes that we can choose from. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to set the default theme equal to load theme. And we're going to choose classic elegance. 
and then we're going to apply that theme to all the UI elements. <clears throat> and then we're going to start the main loop, which means we're going to start the application. And that is basically the code. Now, before I revisit everything here, let me first of all remove this import and let me also run the application to see it actually works. And of course it doesn't. So what's the problem here? Oh, we need to say theme variable trace W on theme change. So when it changes, we want to call the on theme change function, but that is actually not the problem. So this was one problem that I didn't uh, look at, but that's not the only problem. Of course, I, I forgot a main section of my prepared code. I'm stupid. All these elements, of course, that we have, we need to add them to app. So we need to actually pack them uh, into a layout or we need to, to add them using the pack layout. So we're going to say text box pack padding X is 10 padding Y is 10 as well. And then we're going to do the same thing for the button and for the option menu. So there you go. Now we can change all of this. Let's see if that works. No problem. There you go. All right. So the application works. I'm going to explain it again now that we have all the code. So basically, the whole UI is defined down here. So in a sense, this happens first in the logic of writing the code. And this is the functionality that changes the theme. So we have an application, the application has a title, we have an empty dictionary representing the current theme by default empty. Then we define a text box, a button, and an option menu, the option menu has a string variable associated with it, which means that the value that we have here, that is selected in the option menu, is going to be, uh, we're going to keep track of it. And when it changes, we're going to call this on theme change function. So whenever we change the value of the drop down selection, we're going to change the theme. Uh, here, we just add all this to the actual user interface. And here we load the default theme, which is classic elegance, which is the default white theme. So to the functions, this function that is associated with a change in the dropdown calls two functions, first of all, load theme, second of all, apply theme, load theme loads just a theme name from the JSON file. And apply theme takes the theme and sets all these UI elements that the app itself, the text box, the button, the drop down, it sets all these values depending on what we have defined here in the theme itself. And in the end, it also updates the values of this dictionary that represents basically this year. Um, and then we have the message box, it is associated with the button, the button calls this function. And this function just shows the message, but it shows it in a custom pop up. So we don't use a message box from TK Inter. we define our own message box. And the styling here depends again on these fields here. So yeah, this is how you add a theme changing option or a color scheme to your TK Inter application. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.